do the fourth and final solution for the first puzzle for our first ever treasure hunt. Now clue number four is particularly devious, which is why I decided to include it at the end. I know some people struggle with it. It's got a lot of steps, but I think if you keep up the logic that we've used in some of the other clues and use Google, use Wikipedia to your advantage, I think it's solvable. So if we start by looking at the clue itself, it says, congratulations, the final clue awaits. We hope you're keeping up with the pace. Today I did a portrait of a right honourable chap. Apparently he was a real idol in the city. Then there's some random words and it says your task is to find a reference to a London street and then name the mystery painter. So there's a lot going on there. So let's just break it down into a few sections. So as we found out in the few previous clues, there's often an initial sentence that appears pretty innocuous, but actually has a hidden meaning. So if we just look at the first sentence here. Congratulations, the final clue awaits. We hope you are keeping up with the pace. So I don't think there's anything too controversial about the first two sentences in that paragraph, but we hope you are keeping up with the pace is a slightly interesting sentence and maybe a little bit unusual. So it's worth remembering that as one to come back to. And then into the body of the clue itself. So today I did a portrait of a right honorable chap. So it sounds to me, I did a portrait as though this is the words of some kind of painter. And right honourable chap is an interesting set of terminology. So as we always do, if we see something that sounds weird, it's probably a clue. So if you Google right honourable, what does it say? It's a prefix given to certain people, for example, MPs in the United Kingdom. So perhaps this is someone who has painted a portrait of a famous politician, for example. And then it says, apparently he was a real idol in the city. Now the city, when it's written like this, tends to refer to a specific part of London. So it's normally the financial district in London. And then the terminology of this sentence is quite interesting. So a real idol. So the word idol in itself has some kind of interesting connotations. It's a weird word to use. And as I always say to you, if you see a weird word, look it up. So obviously an idol is in this instance, someone famous like American Idol. Oh, dictionary not got on, does not like that. But it does have multiple different meanings. So if you were to go onto Wikipedia, for example, you've got all of the stuff you'd expect to see, so like idolization, stuff like pop idol and these kind of things, but there's all kinds of other stuff as well. So, you know, worship of idols, um, different words for statues and things. So there's all kinds of stuff on there. So in our heads, instantly, I've got idol as something that I've flagged as being a bit weird. Um, and we've already broken down the fact that this is probably a painting of perhaps a politician. We get on to the next step, which is what do all these words mean? Because it's a slightly different approach to some of the clues we've done previously, where we've had to unscramble words or numbers. Here we've got actual words. So what do I always tell you to do whenever we see anything that looks unusual? Stick it in Google, see what happens. And this time, instantly, the first thing that comes up is a reference to keeping up with the Kardashians. And each of these words appears to be an episode. And so as we know, we like to find ways of translating words into numbers. And this is a big clue. So what you can find in a more usable format is if you put keeping up with the Kardashians into Google, you can get a full episode list of Wikipedia. And that's nicely ordered and we can use it to find the different numbers. So oh, also, did you spot this sentence? We hope you are keeping up with the pace. So there's a little hint in there, albeit quite a subtle one. So the first thing we're looking for is birthday suit. So if we look for birthday, Bob's your uncle, birthday suit, zero, 04. If you do that for all of these different episode titles, you get a number. And that number is 04152814474. See that into Google, and it brings up a reference to this book, The Routledge Atlas of British History. And so remember what we're looking for is a reference to a street name to find a mystery painter. So what we really need to do is try and get inside this book so we can have a look at it. If you scroll down, I found a link to Google Books, which lets you preview 
a lot of um, different books inside. You can click into this one and start digging around looking for a reference to a London street. As it happens, it's pretty quick in this one. On the third page, there is a London address, which is the publisher of the book. <clears throat> so it's been actually quite straightforward to find if you manage to get to the book in time. So we've got completed the first task, which was to find a reference to a London street. We now need to use that to get our mystery painter. So let's see if we get any clues when we look at this London street on Wikipedia. So if we type in New Fetter Lane, hit go, straight away there's a Wikipedia article for Fetter Lane. Okay, that's close enough. If we have a look, it says, oh actually look, it's, it's the crossing place of Fetter Lane and New Fetter Lane. You can start reading down in the history and there's a few notable names that crop up that might require investigation. Thankfully I know what I'm looking for, but if you're doing this for the first time you might want to go and dig around in the names of some of these other notable people um, that crop up. But the thing that interests me is this. There is a statue of a politician. If we go back to our clue, the word that we looked at earlier on that we were confused about, which was idol, who is a real idol in the city. Well, perhaps idol can mean statue. We also know we're looking for a politician because of the reference to right honourable. To solving this clue, is to figure out who has painted a portrait of John Wilkes. And the easiest way to do that is to type into Google John Wilkes portrait and see what comes up. So you can find the answer in a few different ways. Um, the most direct one I found was if you go down to the British Library, which has a very famous portrait of John Wilkes in it. It has a whole article about it. And in the, in the article it says, creator Robert Edge Pine. As easy as that. So I think if we go back to our clue, just think about it. It was pretty straightforward to get the Kardashians episodes. Maybe a little bit trickier to scramble it and find the book. We used the book to find the famous London Street. After we had a quick read of the Wikipedia article about that London Street, there was reference to a politician, which was alluded to in the clue. And then it was just a case of finding someone who'd painted him who has a three word name is the final clue. Um, so if we go in to Treasure Hunt website and we type in Robert Edge Pine, there we've done it. We have completed the whole puzzle.